Is Connor in trouble again? Will Connor McGregor and Michael Chandler still fight? The press conference that was supposed to happen today between Michael Chandler and Connor McGregor to promo UFC 303 in Dublin, Ireland was canceled and we have yet to get an explanation. Today, we are gonna talk about what this means for UFC 303 and Conor McGregor. I'm Wyatt, and this is Fight Society. The UFC put out this statement about t almost a day ago, last night, saying that UFC 303 Dublin press conference is postponed until further notice. The UFC 303 press conference for Monday, June 3rd in Dublin, Ireland at 3 Arena has been postponed until further notice. We sincerely apologize to all the fans who are planning to attend when we have further information on a new date and time, we will share it immediately. Thank you. So that's the UFC statement today, and many people are speculating what happened with Conor McGregor. And obviously, given Conor doing things like this lately, and this right here, Many people are speculating if Connor got himself into some sort of trouble again, or if he is going to be pulling out of the fight. Did he get arrested? Did he fail a drug test potentially? And first off, we actually got clarification on that today from Ariel Helwani, where he said on the MMA hour that there is no salacious story. Here's what he had to say. This is, this, there, there is no salacious story. There is no um you know there's no great drama there's no great theater there's no story there's here's what i do know here's what i can tell you i am seeing obviously nothing going to come out there's no there's no egg on anyone's face nothing of that sort um with regards to any sort of like out of athletic activities if you get what i'm saying um i can also tell you with 100 percent certainty because i'm seeing all the stuff here i'm seeing all the uh the theories and the people throwing out stuff um there's nothing regarding any sort of drug testing or um, anti-doping or anything like that. It, it, it is not that. I could tell you that the press conference was postponed today due to an issue that has um, you know, precluded it from happening. And so the question now is, um, A, are they going to pick a new day? Um, and of course, on everyone's mind is, will this affect june 29th as of and that is what's on everybody's mind right now is will this affect the ufc 303 event that is supposed to happen in less than four weeks time in las vegas connor versus michael chandler now another story came out it was speculated by cc legaspi with espn deportes saying that connor was potentially injured for this fight that he suffered a small injury minor injury and that he was not going to be going to this press conference, which seemed pretty believable. But as you can see here, post by Full Violence says, CC Legaspi from ESPN Deportes did not say Conor McGregor is injured. He was speculating that he could be injured because it's not something related to drug testing or anything like that. All reports saying Conor is injured is speculation. So what do you guys think? Like, where do you think we're at right now? Do you think that UFC 303 is going to happen? Do you think that, that Connor's injured? Do you think that he got in some sort of trouble? Um, Connor put out this statement today saying, in consultation with the UFC, today's press conference was canceled due to a series of obstacles outside of our control. I apologize to my Irish fans and fans around the world for the inconvenience and appreciate your, all your passion and support. I can't wait to put on the greatest all-time show in the Octagon. So at least we have some sort of clarification from Connor that he will. he's saying that he'll be there on June 29th, that he can't wait to put on his, the greatest return in combat sports, the greatest show in the octagon on June 29th, which is less than a month away at this point. It's the next pay-per-view. Fans are seriously getting excited for Connor versus Chandler. And this was a huge scare for Connor fans and fight fans thinking that, okay, maybe UFC 303 is not gonna happen. And on the same episode of the MMA Hour, Ariel Helwani spoke with Demetrius Johnson, and this is what he had to say about the cancellation of the press conference. That we 
for me, if I was Chandler, I understand, like, I, I want to try to get him on the Mighty Cast to talk about this fight with Connor because as an athlete, you make your money when you compete. Chandler hasn't, I can't remember the last time Chandler competed. I don't know if it was against Charles or Dustin or Justin. Yeah. I, I just don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't ring a bell in my mind, right? So for me, he's been waiting on the sidelines to fight Conor McGregor. This might never happen, right? I mean, you know, Conor, like, you know what, fuck you guys. I don't need any of your fucking money. I don't need none of you guys. For, I'm on the fucking the, the yacht. You know what I mean? So that could potentially happen. And then it's like Chandler waited all this time. Or it does. Now, here's what I'm thinking is that Chandler sat out this time because this fight is his retirement plan. If he wins, maybe he gets a title shot because beating Conor McGregor has resulted in title shots for people like Dustin Poirier. And genuinely, I think that Michael Chandler is using this Conor fight as his retirement plan. He's gonna bag four or five million in this fight, and that's what I think, I think this, that's what he's doing. He's plotting his retirement. It does happen. So that's what I feel right now is that like, I just feel like Chandler might be wasting his time. I don't know, that's how I feel. If they go to Chandler and say, okay, we need you to step up and fight someone else on this day. Do you, do you agree to it? Or do you, cause at this point you're almost like hard in rock place. Like I've waited this long. Uh, you know, this is the payday that ends all paydays, right? There's, and as you know, it's not just the payday of the fight. It's people are sponsoring you. There's all kinds of shit that happens when oh. you fight Conor McGregor. Oh yeah. It, it's, it, it's definitely gonna be the biggest payday of his career. I think we all can agree to that. Um, and I think it's something like, you know, what Dustin says, what is he fighting for? Right? Does he want does he want to be world champion or does he want that big mega? That's a good point by Mighty Mouse. And here's the thing is if Connor pulls out from this fight and we think and they ask him to fight somebody else, I gotta think that Michael Chandler doesn't take it. I think he is dead set on taking this Connor McGregor fight. And personally, if the fight does fall through, I think that this is just a theory. If this fight does fall through, and this is just an if, because we haven't been confirmed anything, but if this fight falls through, I think that they try to put together something like Yuri Prohaska and Alex Pereira rematch on short notice for the 205 belt, something like that. Or Alex Pereira at heavyweight. I don't know, something that they can put together on three weeks notice if this fight falls through. Because I don't think Michael Chandler versus fill in the blank is worthy of a pay-per-view main event without a belt on the line. Even if it's Charles Oliveira, even if it's Charles Oliveira stepping up, I don't think Chandler versus Oliveira 2 at 170 pounds is something that the UFC can sell as a non-title fight. It just doesn't make sense. It It's just, Chandler's gonna do everything he can to get the Connor fight, is what I'm saying, because I think that's his retirement plan. Mega fight, and I think, you know, that's a you know decision for him to to make. You know, I can't make that decision for him. Like, what would I do? I don't know, his financial situation, da 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 so, um, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, it, it's a tough one because, I mean, a mega fight with Connor. I mean, you beat Connor, that just opens up so many more doors for you than if he was to beat, like, I don't know, a Justin Gaethje or, uh, you know what I mean? Like, the biggest star in the sport in mixed martial arts is Connor McGregor. I mean, we can all agree on that. Even though the motherfucker doesn't fight <laughs> at all, he's still the biggest star. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. What a story. So much drama. Okay, back to 302. So there's Mighty Mouse and Ariel's input on UFC 303. And look, guys, what do you think is going to happen here? I want you guys to let me know down in the comments. Do you think Connor's pulling out? Do you think he got in some sort of trouble? Do you think that he just didn't want to come to this press conference? I think there's a few options because there has been a lot of theories thrown around there's one of connor catching a uh, criminal case there's one of connor failing a drug test those have been dispelled but there's a couple other things that do make some sense connor allegedly this is just a theory that people are throwing around is that he wanted his black forge in to be the sponsor of this pay-per-view or not this pay-per-view this press conference and that the ufc said no so he said fuck it i'm not pulling i'm not showing up Another one is that Ticketmaster got hacked recently and leaked everybody's personal information that used the site. It was something like 500 million users. And some people are saying like, oh, Ticketmaster had to can the event and that's why this didn't happen. I don't put a whole lot of stock into that one because there hasn't been any other events canceled as a result of the uh, Ticketmaster hack. So. I think that there's something to do with the venue, maybe, who knows, maybe a bomb threat got called in, but I think that the press conference is not postponed, it's canceled. And we're not gonna see Connor. If we see Connor, if he makes it to the fight, the next time we see him is going to be 
in Vegas for UFC 303 fight week. They're not gonna rebook this. Michael Chandler's in the middle of a fight camp. This was already a big ask to have him fly across the Atlantic for one day to do a press conference. And I don't think he's gonna be down to do it again in the middle of a weight cut, in the middle of training camp, trying to get down to 170 pounds, which even that's probably hard for Chandler. He is a big guy. And I'm not really sure what this means for UFC 303, but we have seen Connor in the past show up two fights, bum knee against Chad Mendez, something else in the Aldo fight, um, Nate Diaz cancella- or uh, p- fighting Nate Diaz after multiple fight cancellations, moving up 25 pounds like a madman from 45 to 70 to fight Nate Diaz, being completely strung out, partying all the time, drinking all the time, still making it to the Khabib fight and going four and a half rounds with one of the best fighters of all time. Listen, I think that UFC 303 is going to happen, but if Connor pulls out, Make no mistake, Michael Chandler is not going to be on that card. They're going to try to put something together. Maybe they make it a fight night and have Olberg versus Jamal Hill as the main event or um, or Ian Gary versus Michael Venom Page as the main event. My best guess is that if this falls through, God, it would be so much better if, if Michael Chandler was pulling out of this fight because you could just do like Connor versus Oliveira, Connor versus somebody at 170 pounds and it would still be entertaining. But Chandler standing across from somebody other than Connor does not work as a pay per view main event if there's not a belt on the line. So let me know what you guys think down below. What do you think is going to happen with UFC 303? Does this fight still go forward? Does this press conference get rebooked? Let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you want access to extra content aside from my regular videos, click the link in the description down below to become a channel member and get access to members only live streams and other bonus perks. Or click the join button on our channel homepage. And if you're interested in some non-MMA content from me, Check out my weekly podcast, The Hissy Fit Podcast, and check out my personal channel, Wyatt's World. I'll have them both linked in the description down below. Go watch this suggested video, and I'll see you next time.